Hey guys, Justin Ball here. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Dale Clues Click Tracks in Adobe Audition. So let's go ahead and open Audition, hit Control N to start a new multi track session, label it whatever you want. Next, open the folder you downloaded from my website, open the Click Tracks folder, and you'll see that they're clearly labeled 1 through 5. So go ahead and drag those in. I also encourage you to change the names of the tracks so it's easier to find everything. Next, it's time to import the markers, which are also in the folder. So we'll come over here where we have the markers tab, right click in the empty space, select import markers, double click, and now we have markers for every single measure in the piece. This is great because unlike other click tracks where you might lose your spot and have to start over, here you can actually loop any combination of measures on repeat by using the looping tool or control L. To adjust the tempo, there are two options. The first is to turn on the toggle global clip stretching. Using this, we can actually highlight everything in our timeline and using these little white triangles, stretch to the right to slow down or stretch back to the left to speed up. This will have a negative effect on the quality of the snare drum tracks. So if you're really serious, I would actually recommend going into the Sibelius template, changing the tempos, re-exporting and bringing those back into this session which I cover in detail in the Sibelius click track tutorial. Lastly, make sure you save this audition session back to your folder, or you can simply use the one that we've provided for you. That's it for today. I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. If you have questions, let me know, and we'll talk soon.